Two of the greatest names in Formula One, Lewis, Hamilton and Ferrari, are set to join forces next year. In a move both surprising and long-awaited, the seven-time World Drivers' Champion will be given the most coveted drive in motorsport when he finally sits behind the wheel of a Ferrari Formula One car. It's a seat that every driver wants, but one that only an elite few ever get to experience. As a team, they've won 16 Constructors' Championships and 15 Drivers' Titles. Hamilton will be joining a long list of famous names. Schumacher, Vettel, Lauda, Mansell, Prost, Alonso, Raikkonen, Surtees, Ascari and Fangio, to name a few. Since winning his maiden world crown with McLaren in 2008, a move to the famous team in red has been raised on many occasions, but was always dismissed as rumour or as part of contract negotiations. In 2013, the Briton joined Mercedes, spending over a decade with the Brackley-based outfit, which led to six additional world championships for Hamilton, as the team secured eight consecutive constructors' crowns. F1 correspondent and presenter Lawrence Barreto suggests Ferrari have been in contact with Hamilton more than once over the years, but the British driver has always batted them away. It seems last season he began to take more of an interest. So why now? The seven-time world champion has endured a frustrating couple of seasons at Mercedes since he controversially lost out on an eighth title to Max Verstappen at the 2021 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. New regulations thwarted the Silver Arrows challenge in 2022, their radical podless car design proving a costly and time-consuming mistake. The team have been playing catch-up ever since. For the first time in his illustrious career, Hamilton failed to secure a pole or a win all season. He was outscored by teammate George Russell and both Ferraris in the points. Despite finishing third in the driver's standings in 2023, fewer podiums and fewer points made for another frustrating season for Lewis. Mercedes actually picked Ferrari to second spot in the Constructors' Championship, with the Scuderia's early promise from the previous season fading somewhat as other teams played catch-up. Lewis's contract extension with Mercedes was believed to run for the next two seasons, allegedly until 2025. But there's every chance it was a one plus one deal, with an exit clause at the end of the first year. Given that Hamilton has won six of his seven drivers' crowns with the Silver Arrows, why choose to switch in 12 months' time to an outfit doing slightly less well? You don't become a seven-time champ without knowing a bit about cars and their development. At the start of last year, Hamilton expressed his frustration over their development concepts, claiming the team hadn't listened to his issues with the car over the previous season and his continued concerns during the winter. The team, perhaps believing they had turned a corner at the end of 2022 with a double podium in Brazil, kept faith with their design philosophy, a direction which team principal Toto Wolff later admitted was a mistake. So why would Hamilton have considered a move to Ferrari? It's not as easy a question as it seems. Lewis has obviously seen something in the Scuderia's development direction. Charles Leclerc beat Red Bull Sergio Perez to second in 2022, and despite failing to finish six races, Carlos Sainz had the edge over Lewis that year too. The fact that Hamilton bettered both prancing horses last season is perhaps a measure of the man's talent rather than the might of his vehicle. Teammate George Russell languished some five places lower. However, both drivers were clearly limited by the car. Many would say the sport's most record-breaking driver moving to the sport's most record-breaking team is a no-brainer. It's supposedly the seat every driver wants, and the chance to race in red doesn't come along very often. But he'll be leaving a team that won eight Constructors' Championships on the bounce one that's filled with some of the sport's finest technical and tactical brains, an organisation that delivered him a car in which he achieved many of his greatest moments. It's a risk. Mercedes are proven winners. There are other factors in play. One is Ferrari's team principal, Fred Vasseur, Hamilton's former boss at ART. It was under his guidance that the future multiple world champion won his F3 and GP2 titles, and the two remain close friends with the Frenchman admitting that they make time to talk at every Grand Prix weekend. 
Also, at 39 years of age, Hamilton's not getting any younger, and the prospect of more winless seasons in the final years of his career might dampen his desire for that elusive eighth crown. A swan song in scarlet might be just what he needs. So, what are Ferrari's two current drivers? Leclerc has recently signed a multi-year flexible contract extension, believed to run for three more seasons at least, which would cover the final two years under the current regulations and the first season after the big technical changes due in 2026. The Monegas is clearly going nowhere. He's repeatedly stated he wants to stay with Ferrari, whose junior ranks he joined in 2016. Charles also drove for Fred Vasseur at ART and in his rookie F1 season at Sauber, so he too has a bond with the Frenchman. As for Carlos Sainz, his deal runs out at the end of 2024, and with Lewis joining, the Spaniard's journey with Ferrari will come to an end this winter. A proven and experienced Grand Prix winner, he'll be looking to retain a spot on the grid in 2025, but there'll be stiff competition for seats. So, how will Lewis Hamilton and Charles Leclerc fare as teammates? The seven-time champ has clearly been a fan of Leclerc from his early days. It's just really great to see a, a, a really talented kid come through that's really just earned his way. Like, he really has the potential to do great things here. Since the Monegasques moved to Maranello, the two have enjoyed some fierce battles and shared a few podiums. That's committed! Oh! No! Absolutely incredible stuff! Silly season rumours have abounded over the years. This is a move many fans and pundits wanted to see. What do you look for in a teammate? <laughs> Hello, Lewis. <laughs> I think anybody on the grid will love to have Lewis as a teammate, as everybody will learn a lot from him. However, as with any intra team driver matchups, there are potential pitfalls. Leclerc has perhaps gotten used to being the Scuderia's number one, even if the team denies it. It remains to be seen if Lewis joining them will upset the balance. It's happened before. See Lewis and Fernando at McLaren, or indeed Lewis and Nico at Mercedes. Formula One's most successful driver, competing for the sport's most iconic team always seemed logical, and again there's precedent. Many of F1's best have made the move to Maranello. The likes of Prost, Mansell, Schumacher, Alonso and Vettel all switched. Some fared better than others, but all felt the pull of that famous mark, and all had the roar of the Tifosi to spur them on. Hamilton can now be added to that list of masters of the sport, a feat which his hero Ayrton Senna was sadly unable to achieve. It's been a long time since Ferrari have truly challenged for a title. In Charles Leclerc and Lewis Hamilton, they'll have experience and talent in abundance. If they can deliver a car that can fight with the Red Bulls and a resurgent McLaren and carry that through into 2026 and the new technical specifications, then we might see the team extend their already world-beating constructors' records and Lewis secure that record-breaking eighth driver's crown.